welcome back student let us continue the same topic so far we learned about how do the bacteria look like okay how many different types of bacteria are there on the basis of their shape now after that now in this video we'll discuss about how do bacteria eat okay how do bacteria eat how do they respire how do they reproduce okay so this all we'll discuss in this video let us first start with the nutrition so nutrition as we all know the process of process of utilizing the food obtaining the food and utilizing it now the bacteria they are mostly heterotrophs that is they cannot prepare their own food for their food they have to depend on other organisms okay bacteria obtain uh their food in two different ways okay in the two different ways that is saprophytically as well as uh, parasitically about the saprophytes you may be knowing that these are those organisms which obtain nutrition or food from dead and decaying organic matter so there are some bacteria which obtain nutrition from dead and decaying matter okay and i have seen decomposition also so that is why they are sometimes called as decomposers then again after that comes parasitic so there are the bacteria which are parasitic that is they cause the disease okay and again there are some bacteria which are symbiotic also okay symbiotic i have not mentioned yet symbiotic there are some bacteria which are symbiotic also like rhizobium okay they live uh, in association with other living organism where both the organisms get mutually benefited okay such type of association is called symbiosis rhizobium are mostly found in the root nodules of leguminous plant about which we'll discuss later uh, in which what happens is that the rhizobium provides nitrogen to the plants and then the plant provides energy uh, to the rhizobium bacteria this topic we'll again discuss uh, in the later later okay then again this comes this so extra cellular digestion extra cellular digestion intracellular digestion like we human being so intracellular digestion that is whatever we are eating okay get digested inside our body but here bacteria what they do is that whenever they see the food around them in their surrounding they release the enzyme okay this enzyme breaks down the food molecule into simpler form and then they take it in okay so such type of digestion is what we call extra cellular digestion so such type of digestion is seen in these microorganisms then after this topic comes respiration respiration is one of the process of obtaining energy okay respiration is one of the process of obtaining energy all the living organism respires to obtain energy to get energy now see uh there are mainly two types of respiration you might have learned in junior classes also aerobic and anaerobic bacteria shows both the type of respiration that is bacteria can respire in the presence of oxygen and there are some bacteria which can respire in the absence of oxygen okay aerobes and anaerobes okay those bacteria which are which respire in the presence of oxygen they are usually called aerobes and those which respire in the absence of oxygen okay there is a called anaerobes so two types of bacteria are there then again on the basis of respiration now comes how do they reproduce so reproduction is one of the most important characteristics of all the living organism the living organism usually reproduce continue their race reproduction two types of reproduction is seen in bacteria asexual as well as sexual asexual if we talk about so they mostly show binary fission they multiply by breaking down into two the parent cell breaks up into two okay even the nuclear content also get splitted and get equally distributed to both the cells and thereby two individuals is produced such type of a sexual reproduction is called binary fission by means two where the parent cell divides to produce two daughter cell okay now if you talk about the sexual reproduction sexual reproduction the bacteria usually shows primitive type of sexual reproduction okay 
which you call as conjugation. In detail, you will study about conjugation in higher classes. But still, in a real brief way, let me tell you that conjugation here, what happens is that uh, the bacteria are not labeled as uh, male bacteria or female bacteria. Okay? Uh, as we know that in sexual reproduction, two parents are involved. So here what happens is that the two different bacteria with different strains. Now see, I, as I told you that they are not labeled as male or female. They are usually called as positive strain, plus strain and minus strain bacteria. Plus strain and minus strain bacteria both come closer. Okay, then again they get attached and forms a tube called conjugation tube. Then after that contents of one bacteria is transported with the help of the plasmid okay, to another bacteria. So this is how the process of conjugation is carried out during sexual reproduction in bacteria. Uh, in detail you will be learning in higher classes. Then again after that spore formation is also seen in bacteria. We might have, uh, you might have learned uh, this one, spore formation in junior classes also, also called sporulation. Okay, under the topic of sexual reproduction. But spore formation is not uh, truly considered as the reproduction, okay, the method of reproduction. It is actually, it is uh, one of the method to overcome or to escape the unfavorable conditions, okay. So whenever bacteria finds the condition is not favorable, then what they do is that they, uh, they form the spherical structure, surrounds themselves with a thick wall, okay, uh, and again remains the same way till the favorable condition returns. By forming the spores, this bacteria can tolerate extreme temperature. Then again, they can also withstand. Uh, they can withstand extreme dryness. Then again, they can tolerate all the different kinds of poisonous chemicals. And then what happens is that these bacteria are carried by the wind or water to various places. Okay, whenever they get favorable conditions, then what happens? This wall they absorb. Uh, they absorb the food. Then again, this wall breaks up, and again uh, they come out of this wall and it starts multiplying again. So this is how the bacteria, just now we learned that how uh, this is how they obtain the nutrition that is food. Then again after that we study that how they respire. Then after that we also studied about how they, how do they reproduce. Okay. So this much in this video student will continue the same chapter in the next class. Thank you.